Ant-Man is proof that size doesn't matter. But just how has this tiny tyke evolved on screen? Let's find out now. Animated! In the Marvel Super Heroes, Hank Pym wears a red suit with blue garments, a black chest symbol, and brow-like antennas. He also wears a blue and yellow outfit with killer shades. Although this mini-man mostly uses his patented Pym particles to become Giant Man. This design is also reused in X-Men the Animated Series. In United They Stand, Hank Pym sports a slick suit covered with bulky battle armor. His helmet has two mouth pincers and a bug-eyed visor. This Ant-Man is the leader of the Avengers and adores flying in his itty-bitty jet. The Ultimate Avengers Ant-Man wears a brownish suit with ribbed orange sections. He fashions both a goggled mask and a blinking helmet that is finally shown controlling an army of ants. In the second film, he sacrifices himself in battle, but an autonomous Iron Giant Man appears in later films with the power to spit out iron wasps. World's greatest heroes Ant-Man wears bright red and black armor, while his helmet has tiny bug eyes and thick antennas. Plus, his ant flying abilities are actually seen on screen. The Superhero Squad show features a comic accurate but weirdly buff Ant-Man. In Earth's Mightiest Heroes, he fashions similar classic attire, but when giant, he has thin brow antennas, silver ear domes, and blue suit stripes. After getting caught in an explosion, he reappears as the anti-hero Yellow Jacket, allowing the first on-screen Scott Lang to become Ant-Man. Hank Pym in Marvel Disc Wars wears a shiny suit with artistic black lines and swoop-shaped antennas. In his MCU debut, Scott Lang steals Hank Pym's former Ant-Man suit. This scuffed tactical suit has small gauntlets and added silver lines. His helmet has vertical red stripes, tiny antennas, red lenses, and a retractable faceplate. His belt houses a size regulator, and his gloves have buttons that allow him to shrink and regrow. He's also equipped with throwing discs that alter matter's size. A retired Hank Pym trains this Scott Lang, who eventually takes down Yellow Jacket to save his own daughter. This MCU appearance would inspire his looks in Avengers Assemble, Superhero Adventures, and his Lego version. Additionally, his Avengers Assemble look is simplified in Season 4, and in Season 5, he's given a darker revamp with a more bug-like helmet. In Captain America Civil War, Lang's suit is streamlined, has more gray tones, added knee and shoulder pads, and longer gauntlets. His helmet is modernized, has lengthened antennas, and his faceplate is no longer retractable. This suit also adds the ability to become Giant Man. In this film, Ant-Man sides with Captain America against the squabbling Avengers. The retro 2017 miniseries Ant-Man has silver components and a boxy helmet with a red visor. His look in Ant-Man and the Wasp reincorporates elements from his 2015 suit. He has plain black boots, darker knee pads, fewer silver lines on his chest, and his helmet is fully retractable. This time, he, along with his wasp partner, battle a quantum sick ghost, as well as a greedy businessman. Meanwhile, Hank Pym heads to the quantum realm to rescue his lost wife. With that accomplished, Scott, to aid the ailing ghost, agrees to gather quantum energy, but his colleagues dust away, leaving him trapped in the quantum realm. But a heroic rat sets him loose in Avengers Endgame. Now free, Scott informs the Avengers about time travel, helping them to work out, well, let's say a few kinks in the program. He then suits up in an advanced tech suit to help retrieve magical time stones. Also, a young Hank Pym is seen working on a classic Ant-Man helmet. Back in the present, Scott assists in taking on Thanos' army. In Spidey and his amazing friends, Ant-Man wears a vintage light suit with an MCU-inspired helmet. What If features Hank Pym as an alternative yellow jacket, and a disembodied Scott Lang also appears. In Quantum Mania, his look is overhauled again, has circular torso details, more black on his thighs, uniquely shaped gauntlets, and his helmet has red cheek stripes. This suit is also fully retractable. In this film, he and his family are sucked into the quantum realm, where they battle against Kang, and then stealthily sneak away. So, which of these Mighty Minis is your favorite? Let us know down below. Check out our many other Marvel evolutions, including Thor, Doctor Strange, Green Goblin, Venom, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and Spidey. Leave a like, click subscribe, and tap that little bell to stay up to date.